Hi, my name is Paul Morris. I was number one until age five. I had to be taught how to speak, how to listen, and how to think. The years were hard. Sometimes I just didn't understand. But look at me now. I graduated from the college internship program in Lee, Massachusetts, and now I live independently. I have always wanted to do public speaking at various colleges for people who major in psychology and special education. I want to talk about my life of autism. When I was a little boy, I did not know that I was different. I wanted to do my own things, like hang out with friends, like my brothers, Jesse and Tyler, and my sister Sabrina did. I did not know how to hang out with friends. My parents wanted me to learn how to speak. It is not only about words, it is about behavior. It took me a long time to learn how to socialize with people. I am still learning what that means. When I went to middle school, the kids didn't understand me. I think they were afraid of me because of my autism. I didn't understand when kids told me to do wrongdoings. Sometimes kids are rude. Then there were the kids that were nice to me. They were kind and they sat next to me in the cafeteria, but I did not go to recess because they said it wasn't good for me. Today, I would suggest that special ed kids should go to recess and have an aide help them. Eye contact was hard for me to do in the beginning, but look me in the eye. I'm good at it now. Back in the fall of 1999, I couldn't control myself. I would explode, I would obsess, I would cry in pain, I took medication. The best things about high school were small classes in English and math. I also enjoyed lunch groups in the guidance office. We made a friendship blanket and everyone signed it. Some of those kids were very nice to me and still contacted me by phone, email, and Facebook. I started the college internship program in Lee, Massachusetts on July 3rd, 2006. The program was called Aspire. I looked up the definition of Aspire. It means to dream, to pursue, to try, to wish, to struggle. I struggled in the beginning, living on my own. I learned about hygiene, cooking, cleaning, how to get a job, self-awareness, taking care of money, and figure out my problems. Classes like Fury of Bind, Realizing about how others talk to you and hitting curriculum were hard. The career skills training employment program is very important for people who don't go to college. My best internship was at the Norm Rockland Museum doing data entry and mailings to colleges for art history programs. Advising sessions were very important at college internship program. We did self-assessment forms. I rated my performance every week and my advisor did it too. The ratings are listed as underperforming, average, honors, and mentor. One day freshman year, my parents invited me to a Milwaukee Brewers New York Mets game. My mom gave me an option. A, do you want to go and find a way to get yourself home? Or B, do you want to stay at school? I picked A. I researched Peter Pan bus on the internet and learned that I could take a bus from Lee, Massachusetts to Danbury, Connecticut. I bought the ticket and traveled by myself. When I stepped off the bus, I said, the mentor has arrived. <laughs> when I graduated in May 2009, I was on mentor status for 26 weeks in a row. At our graduation convocation ceremony, I won the award for most improved student. I also earned a certificate for 44 hours of community service because I performed in a puppet show for children and sent toiletries to Africa. My fair award, which I won three years in a row, was for recreational excellence. I never missed a meeting on Monday nights where I made suggestions for weekend activities. I researched directions on MapQuest, how much it cost and assisted the residential corner in planning. 
I also was an officer in student senate. It has been a very long way for me. I have worked very hard to achieve. I now live in New York. I'm a point program member. The point program is a program that helps young adults with disabilities to live independently. It is provided by Westchester Jewish Community Services and Jewish Child Care Association. Everyone at point has different disabilities and we all have individual plans. I am very lucky that Westchester ARC got me a job interview with New York Medical College. I have been working at New York Medical College part-time for four years. I work as a human resources assistant. I do data entry, scanning, shredding, copying, filing, and mailings. My supervisor, Tom, is my mentor and friend. Also, I wanted to have more hours before I got another part-term job at Oppenheimer Company in White Plains, New York, and they asked me to, to add another day in Stanford, Connecticut. I wrote a pre letter to President Obama in 2009. Dear President Obama, my name is Paul Morris, and I'm a 21-year-old guy who's high-functioning autistic. I was normal until the age of five. Now that I am looking for work and living with roommates, I am worried about my life. It's going poorly for autistic adults because the funding is over. I want you to create programs for autism spectrum disorders. Today, you donate lots of money to autism from me, Paul Morris. I want new interventions to help with autistic people. I want good education for them to learn. I want jobs and help them with living, I want to do great things. Finally, I think that it's not only autistic people that need to learn, the people that don't have autism must learn to understand us and be tolerant. Last week, I tried to email a girl from high school. She wrote me back and told me not to contact her again. And that I have had many obstacles to overcome. <clears throat> I looked up the word obstacle on Wikipedia I then asked my mother what the word obstacle meant and told her about the girl. My mom cried. I think that this girl is the one with the obstacles. Thank you for listening. And Allison Sainer and everybody. Well, I love you the most, Jesse, for being an honor of me. It's a great privilege to be with you in the family. I like everybody in the family. It's a good thing, you know. Le learning about being different is a great thing than the same, but we're here to help autism spectrum disorders to understand the cure. Um, I really don't know what it means, but I was diagnosed at age two in 1989. My greatest dream for autism is I want, in my autism, I want people to understand if people make friends in the social community, such as schools and colleges and anywhere in the community and society. We have to have, understand and be tolerant because, you know, understanding the, the difference is a goal. Like when I was in high school, we did autism awareness research and we were very interested at Western High School in Connecticut. I was waiting for the letter when Obama was president, but never heard from him back. Thank you very much. Woohoo.